Asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Weekend Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Uh, we have a great show lined up for you. This is actually one of those weeks, Tunaitanga uh, Cocktail Weeks, where news in hit left, right, and center. We start with uh, following the scary incident that happened at Eregi Girls in Kakamega, uh, Illustria, a mysterious disease that, all, that put almost 100 girls in hospital. Now, health officials, Wamekuja, Masema, they have ruled that the girls suffered from mass hysteria ahead of the end of year exams. Like technically, uh, GMTN, there was an outbreak of fear. <laughs> yeah, for me, for me I've, I've, I've never thought uh, the fear of exams would get anyone to this point. After these videos hit the internet, my parents were jammed. They stormed uh, the principal's office demanding answer. Because where come Mzazi? You imagine who am to work with you? My uniform. You imagine. Kuona mtoto wako kwa hivyo na wasiwasi walikuwa nashangaa hizi ni gani mazina genge to niliisha unajua <laughs> Now uh, sijui whether I don't know kama it's good news or bad news that professionals have ruled that the mysterious disease um is it's uh, in a in mass hysteria out of fear of examination sijui kama we're supposed to celebrate ama there's something that needs to be done We are not saying that they are pretending uh ama wanajifanya passe but mass hysteria is a thing. In fact, in the year 1518, there was an outbreak of a dance plague in a French city where a mysterious pandemic hit people. Now, I saw dance for one week straight. Hakuna beat. Ni mtata. Yani, ma, 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 of course, sijapata reports za wasi wote kudedi, but ma, ali tu ime kushikia. Ili kuwa? Ni, wasi wa kitabu wali jiona, ma, Think about kitu kama yu happen sai. President kwa yu rali yake ya siyaya. <laughs> hey, muna taka maanda mano? Ama, ama muna taka tijenge iti? <laughs> as long as, as long as hakuna mtu wanaumia, that's something I'd love to see. Muna taka watu waendele kwa ribu mali ya uma? <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? Sema bottom? <laughs> ah, eh? <laughs> eh? Wacha ni hita rigiji pia seme kitu. Alafu baba pia kona yake kamukunji. Tusitishwe! <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, many are times that we've made uh, jokes on this show about areas in Nairobi, Mali, Mazi, Hakunanga Maji, places zenye, wasea waonangi Maji. I don't even need to mention Umoja. In fact, <laughs> kuna watu wanasema ukikutana na mlevi kwa barabara side za umo, huyo ni either mse wa kanjo ama ni katel, kwa zizo area wao ndiyo ukata Maji. Now, <laughs> Eh. Eh, maze wasi washa survive like wana juanga hawata hiyo na maji but the good news is at least el nino ina come. Yes. And now in preparedness for the forecasted el nino rains, the Nairobi County government has prepared a task force to do the most. In fact, as we speak, a budget has been set aside here, 1 billion uh, to manage the effects of the el nino rains including the purchase of water boats. After kuangalia what the county is doing Na historia El Nino, I now understand why places kama umoja hawapatangi maji. Because the county government will do anything to make sure watu wafikiwi na maji. We've actually mobilized assets to allow us to, 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 to intervene. On disaster preparedness during El Nino, he says that the county government is in the process of purchasing inflatable boats in the next one week. Now, kila mtu wamesikia county government inataka kununua boats in preparation for the rains has been like, really? Like, what is this about? Eh, wakinunua boats, alafu kukose kunyesha, alafu. But then, personally, I support the idea, 100%, and I hope everyone will be safe, yo el nino ikikam, now that the government has already postponed it twice. Unajua, haters wanasema, government is holding on to the el nino, wanataka kuileta one year before elections, jiwa onekane wanafanya job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, when the el nino comes, na wanunue hizo boats, vile wanasema, I hope and pray, uh, everyone will be safe, no one will be hurt. Uh, one thing that I want and I want to keep the ambassador, Russia, I want to pipe it down in my bathroom. That I want to buy this, Sarah. And moving on, Deputy President uh, Rigadi Gashagwa has revealed that he regrets siring only two children after being lied to by the white man. Those wondering who's, who Rigidi's two children are, Pandit Wanasema, the two children are 
Mount Kenya na Rift Valley. Now, <laughs> here's Rigiji expressing his love for his two children. The unity of the Rift Valley will continue under my leadership. The unity of, Rift Valley, of Mount Kenya will continue under my leadership. And my boss, President William Ruto, will continue uniting the rest of Kenya. I have no problem. And that is the way to go. And I'm saying, how can we unite the country if we are not united as a region? It's unite Mount Kenya, one voice. Left Valley, one voice. Western, one voice. When all the regions are united differently, then we come to Unganisha Kamanin, Kama Kenya. Well, you are, I think if we are to really face it, uh, things that unite Kenyans, you are TikTok. But then, well, uh, after after that speech, after that speech, kuna watu wanauliza what being united separately means. Like vile amesema, uh, Rift Valley wa unite, eh, nini, we unite differently. Wale wanauliza what that means, it's very simple. Ni kama vile watu usema, hao wamewana lakini wakai pamoja. <laughs> and, and what I personally don't understand is the part where mtoto wa maumau says that he only had two children because he was lied to by the white man. I can't help but wonder, when was this when the Maumau were taking advice from the white man, especially about something as personal as making babies? And speaking of making babies, uh, experts are proposing that taxpayers be registered at birth. Ukizaliwa hivi, nambayako ya tax. Now, as, as much as people uh, kuna watu wana complain, I think I understand what must have inspired that idea. Uh, the experts don't want mothers to have the monopoly of pain during childbirth. Hata watoto wanafawasikia uchungu ya kuzaliwa, unajua? Which may be which may be a good thing because if that idea passes, watoto wataacha kulia bure. Eh man, the idea to have taxpayers registered at birth may also boost morale in the health sector, especially kwa nurses. Nurses helping mothers will no longer be just a calling. Itakuwa Itakuwa, itakuwa, itakuwa personal. Itakuwa, uwendi tu kuzalisha mtu, unenda kuona msharaka ikiingia. Alafu, uh, tukopia na story ya Sean Andrew. Mnajua Sean Andrew? Wala well, ajui Sean Andrew, that's the grandson to former president Mwai Kibaki, who recently revealed kwa interview ya, ya Flo and Friends uh, on YouTube that he once lost a job opportunity for being too cute. It was the day before the shoot and called. Um, and then now she's she's very the agent's very hesitant and she's like i don't know what to tell you but the the feedback i've gotten is that you're you're too cute for the advert i was like what i'm too cute what does that mean i'm too cute and then they're like uh yeah they wanted someone who looks a bit more mature and you're just too cute you look a bit childish, ni, ni. Yeah. and I was like, damn, okay, <laughs> what do I do about that? So, this is how I was born. Yeah, I just remember being so upset, I threw my phone into a bush, <laughs> and I was just... I ended up crying in the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> There's a lot, there's a lot to say about your story. I've thought about that story, Mimi Mwenye, personally, but I think he's telling the truth. <laughs> this Kitwin exposed the relationship between Kenyans and looks. Kenyans don't like cute people. And it's, it's actually very evident. Ukitakujua, Kenyans don't like cute people. It's evident in how Kenyans showed up in large numbers to give his grandfather a job. <laughs> 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 Which father goes to uh, prove elected to scientists when I say time heals everything. Now, we have, <laughs> we have a great show lined up for you. Kama Kawaida, our guest for this episode, uh, Dr. Hamisi Kote Ali. Um, he's a chiropractor, a friend of the show, and many of you may recognize him as a barefoot doctor. Uh, I'm a one over two years without wearing shoes, and he makes a very good case for it. Dr. Hamisi is the kind of doc whose practice is meant and can be summarized as the natural ways to avoid going to the hospital. He joins us on the other end of this short commercial break for a very healthy conversation. We'll see you in Mahali. See you in a bit. <laughs> a 
Asante sana. Welcome back to the weekly edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Our guest for this episode is a doctor of chiropractic medicine. His basic practice, his practice can basically be summarized as uh, a practitioner whose job is to make sure or to help you avoid going to hospital. Dr. Hamisi Kote Ali is in the house. <laughs> Asante sana, Dr. Hamisi Kote Ali is also known as the barefoot doctor with over three years akitoka, akitembea bila uh, viatu. And I was very curious to ask him this directly. Karibu sana, Doc. Kwanza. Thank you so much. Eh, as in, uh, walking the barefoot ni wewe peke yako, ama uh, by default, your connection to the earth means that atagari yako has no tires. <laughs> <laughs> well, walking barefoot, for example, in our office is a culture. Okay. Everybody who works in our office... Uh, is bare, work barefoot in our office. You can wear shoes after the office, but within the office is barefoot. That's our culture. One, because barefooting is has many has many benefits beyond uh, just grounding. One of the benefits that is silent and that most people don't understand about it is the biomechanical benefit of of of, of your feet. <coughs> uh, the feet, <laughs> the feet is the feet is a masterpiece. You know, it, it's a masterpiece of, uh, of architectural design or engineering in the sense that you have 33 joints here. 33 joints. 33 joints. Mm -hmm. You also have 33 joints from the base of your neck to the, to the tailbone. That cannot be a coincidence. Yes. Uh, these 33 joints yes. of the feet and the three joints of the spine work together. They actually, the, that three joints of the foot move the spine. That's why when we move or when we walk or when we look at our feet, you can see the foot has <clears throat> what you call a longitudinal arch. Yes. And then it has a lateral arch here. And it has another arch across here. There are three. Because the foot forms a tripod like that. Okay. So when we walk, we heel strike. And when we hit strike, we put our feet down and all our force moves forward. Yes. When we want to lift the other leg, we kind of shift our weight to the side a little bit yes. and be able to bring this one. So when you bring this other one to yes. put it down, yes. so here we go to the side. Here yes. we went in the front. So when we put the other foot down and yes. we want to move, yes. we do a what? A so rotation. it's basically break dance. Like. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> somehow. Summer, it's a figure of eight. The way we yes. walk, we walk like a figure of eight. It's yes. like that. That's yes. how we walk. So when we walk barefoot, therefore, our feet are, are able to maintain a web, you know, an open web, like a guitar. Because our muscles of, the muscles of the body, through the fascia connection, are tied into the, into the small bones, into, in, into the toes, into the hand, you yes. know. And whenever this... This, 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 this tension within the toes of the hand, of the feet, is compromised. For example, because of the shoe we wear. Well, most of us wear very tight shoes, like your shoes. <laughs> very tight shoes. Yes. When we wear these very tight shoes, what we do is, is like having a, a, a spacer in your car. When you have a spacer in your car, you affect the, the, balance. the balance. Yeah, you affect the, the, stability. The, the stability of the car. Yes. When we do that, we block some of some of the joints from moving the way they should move freely. So what does that, where does that force go? That force comes here. To the knees. To the knees. Okay. The force will come to the knees, and then from the knees, it will come to, to the, the hips. Way. From the hip, it will go to the back. From the back, it will go to the neck. From the neck, migraine, eye issues, tingling, numbness. All these things will happen whenever you have a block or a stiffness or a, a, a tightening in the, in, the, in, the, in the foot. This is so because <clears throat> the human body has something like a band here, mm -hmm. here, and another band here. Yes. It's called a retinacular. Yes. A retinacular is, you know, in, 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 in modern medicine, they, 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 they look at it as for supporting the tendons not to not to move but that is just a very simple that's a very simple function and it's 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 an obvious function the retinacular has more function than just holding the tendons together one of the functions that is very key is proprioception <clears throat> so whenever we move the body needs to, when we put our foot down because our foot is like an aerial it's like an antenna when we put it down it needs to communicate to the brain in the central nervous system 
where your foot is in space, even if you're walking with your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, proprioception is a key, is a key function of, of the foot and the retinacular, yes. number one. Number two, also <coughs> being, a, being like a stirring. Whenever, whenever we move, like I was showing you the movement, it's yes. what allows these joints to, to, to move and allow the body to move in the different planes of motion. So whenever we have very stiff feet, we have corns in our toes, we have uh, toes that are climbing on each other, mm -hmm. we have banyons or rather we have uh, banyons or things in uh, uh, blisters in our feet on the, on the on the bottom we have heel spur we have calcaneal pain we have plantar fasciitis all these things whenever we have them here you can take it to the bank <laughs> we also have them on the back or we have them in the head or we have them in the neck okay so when we are looking at the foot uh, it's, it's, a bigger, it's bigger than just grounding. It's a bigger uh, architectural masterpiece. I admire your mastery of the joints, like in the body, like the foot has 33 joints, and uh, all I can name is external joints. I don't know any uh, other than easily. I know external joints, uh, one of which couples are using now. Messia joint statement. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah. uh, on the show today, you've come with a meat person. Yes. Uh, and this is technically to demonstrate or to give us an impression of what goes on inside the body. Right? Yes. Uh, for the meat person, uh, just to uh, ask a question on the design. Uh, you design Haina a way to tell the gender of... Oh. You see, what we have done... With this... <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, um, uh, whenever we are looking at the fascia system, or rather yes. we are looking at... Uh, where we are doing a dissection of a human body. So this Most, is the fascia system? This is the fascia system. It's, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a replica of how the fascia would look in a muscle. When you have removed the skin, yes. and you have removed the skin, and you have removed all the fat around it, you'd be left with something like this. This is like close to what we see in diagrams when you say, oh, musculoskeletal system. This is what you would, you would see. Like the next level of nudes. <laughs> you can say that. You can say that actually. Yes, yes. Fascia is the is a new kid in medicine. It's the okay. new is, is the new revolution. Yes. It's the new way of, of thinking. It's the is is it's it's the missing uh, if you may is part of the missing link in medicine. Yes, because yes. it's something that has was studied thousands and thousands of years ago in Chinese medicine. You can find uh, around uh, sixteen hundred uh, in the sixteenth century. Uh, people at the University of Padova des uh, called this. Yes. The, this, the fascia, yes. a, a human fabric, and it is a fabric. Why? Because each and everything within the human body, whatever it is, it's enveloped, it's covered, it's somehow connected by the connective tissue. According to you, what is a healthy human being? A healthy human being is a human being who is functional. What do I mean? Uh, functional in the sense that you can do postural things for example you can squat for example you can bend to touch something you can turn you can you can lift your hands up you can comb your hair without going like eh, eh. okay that's number one no, number two twenty pole pole yes <laughs> if you can squat mm -hmm. means you are healthy if you squat if you can squat without pain have you seen the squat king <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, yes, I'm yes. just general squatting, like yes, 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 general squatting. Okay, uh -huh. okay, Thank that's you. that's a, that's a function you can test. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you can test a function like just even sight. You can test sight. How far can you see? Can you see long? Do you are you able to see distance and depth? Or oh, not like are you seeing anyone? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So. So fun functional is very, very important. And, and, and what I did is I brought something here to explain this. this, uh, this Functionality. Functionality. Yes. And uh, I have a, a chart here. This chart was created by um, a friend of mine. Uh, it's called uh, Dr. Dave Major. Yes. And what we have here is um, it's a cross-section of the human uh, central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord, if you may. Mm. And when you look at that, we, we have here feeling versus function. What we also understand is that the spinal cord has three parts. One, there's what we call motor nerves. And there's what we call autonomic nerves. And there's what we call sensory nerves. Now let's break them down each at a time. I want to start from an egg so that I can come here. If you look at a chicken egg, it would have three distinctive layers. One would be the shell. And we can say 
this is the shell. Why? Because this is the muscular, the musculature of the body. Is the is a structure. We call it the structure. It's one pillar of health. This one. Then we have autonomic. Autonomic in an egg, we can call it metabolism. It's the white yolk. It's what feeds the cheek. And then <clears throat> it's a second pillar. And then we have the third pillar, which is the yellow yolk, which is the DNA, is what becomes a human at the end of the day. Now, <clears throat> what you realize is that the, the motor nerves and the autonomic nerves have a bigger volume, or rather surface area. Mm -hmm. It is also, again, for a reason. Why? These two, these two uh, don't have sensory input. Okay? That's so why... you do not feel anything. Yes. yes. Okay. That's why when we are born and we are young, most of the things we suffer from are not musculoskeletal problems, but we suffer from things like what? Sinus, allergies, flus, respiratory problems, digestive problems, and then low energy. These are not painful. And you can have these for years. You can have this for 10, 15, 20 years, but you have no pain. You may, you may does solve... It, that, uh, the fact that they don't have pain or you don't feel pain, does it make it harmful? Or what is the effect of having something that you don't feel? It's harmful because sometimes, most of the times, we don't do anything about it. If we don't do anything about it, or we self-medicate. You should okay. not self-medicate. Okay. Doctors are there for a reason. Okay. Um, then... You have this other one. So this one will get tight. The, this fascia tissue will get tight on the inside. The, it will start causing dysfunctions on the inside of the body. Okay? And it, it may go on for a long time. Then, let's say you finish high school. Okay? You start working. You're going to be sitting for a long time. The next thing that you're going to start having is muscle spasm. You're going to start getting tightness. You're going to start getting... Tightness is a bad thing. Yes, you should not be tight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, no. <laughs> you need to see what was Okay? Yes. Tightness. You may get fatigue. This fatigue is different from low energy. Okay? And then you may get... You may get weakness. Okay. All right? Again, they are not... They are not painful. Yeah. So, but how do they exist? Why do they exist and you have no pain? It's because nerve tension can exist without pain. Yeah. We're together. And this is what is called a basal tone. There is all, each one of us who is alive has this tone, which is, which is like, you know, it's like, it's like the filament of this bulb. Yeah, that's what is called a basal tone. When that goes off, <laughs> even you, you check out. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> and when that goes, even you, you check out. Yeah, you go. If the basal tone in your body goes off, you're dead. In the interest of time, uh, I'm going to to explain this to your spine as we close. Okay. Yo tu, peke Yo tu. Sindio? Yes. So, the spine, as I said, has 33 joints. And all these joints will move forward, back, side, and side, and rotate. That's the standard size or that's for a This is a pediatric. Person? It's a child. It's a child. It's a child's spine. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So these these ones that the ones on a, you see these ones are called vertebras. Okay. They are bones, and in between the bones, you see there's a there's a pad. This this is the what we call a disc. Okay. okay. This is what they call, we call a disc. Yes. So when somebody is told you have a disc herniation, it is this thing. Okay. Okay. And it, when it herniates, it yes. behaves like this. Okay. Okay. This kind of red thing. When it turns, it will come out and then press, press on the nerves. And the nerves are this. So the nerves will come out from the neck, all these vertebras, up to about L1, L2. Okay. L1, L means lumbar, up lower here. Okay. So the, the nerves will come out up to there. So every time. What you find is that the reason why we have a lot of backache in the lower back is because between <coughs> the ribs, which is here and here, there's nothing other than this. The rest of it is meat. So this place is very mobile. So That's if the foot is stiff, yes. all the movement will be compensated here. Yeah. Same thing with, with the neck. Okay. Okay? And the same thing happens to the shoulder and the hip. That's why a lot of arthritis and, 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 uh, and pains will occur in these in these areas so <clears throat> so the spine has four curves it has a curve here it has a curve in there in, in, on the on the on the 
it has a curve here yes it has the other curve here at the back and it has this other curve these three curves uh, these four curves are our shock absorber okay. it's what makes us bounce so when yes. you wear shoes you have no shock absorber okay. it's like you have a, with spacers in the in the in the in the, in the feet so whenever so then therefore if we understand that then we also know that here we have internal organs you have the gut we have the colon you have the bladder and maybe the uterus or the, or, yes. or the pro, or, yeah or the process for man these two are attached on the inside onto the spine okay from the inside so it's like this but the organs here as your two two yes they are attached okay, okay therefore if you develop constipation for a long time yes. you can also get back pains and you can also have a disc herniation that will show on, on, on an x-ray on half back pain you can treat this disc if you don't treat the constipation the back pain will never go away because, okay. okay all this information is available on the 16th of october yes on the 16th of october we are doing a barefoot walk okay. at karura forest we are inviting people uh, who, who want to learn more about wellness we'll have a talk we'll do the well we'll do the walk we'll do, teach people breathing we'll teach people some tai chi we'll talk about all these things that we have told that are free we show these people to, to people in karura and educate them on how they can take care of the spine we have to give a shout to the team that was in today they've made sure akuna shot to mehata first of all give it up for our director Jack. <laughs> jackie alosi thank you uh to corner esther esther the boss lady wa camera wapima kofi yake thank you <laughs> Mm, na old generation akina Daudi Kabaka leo show ni nzito sana nzito sana eh manze tuko na <laughs> eh tuko na one of the best eh, people wa lighting najua anaitwa Steve um, Steve Okeo na tuko na wafula kwa sound the team has done immense work and for the people when you are set up shots unaona hata hizo joints uliko natuonesha mm. we have everything wapigeni makofi za huko thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. for this one that's it for this week. My name is Dr. Kingori.